Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lena and today I'm going to make a mixed media art journal page. Uh, I got inspired by Jehkotar. Jehkotar is a Finnish uh, mixed media artist and she has this advent calendar uh, where she makes one page every day. So I thought I was going to give it a try. Now I haven't made any art journal pages for a couple of months. I just haven't felt inspired. But now I bought these giant playing cards uh, from a store called Tiger. So I'm thinking I could make a flip book by uh, assembling them using these little ring binders but first I'm gonna do my page so I'm gonna start by collaging I have some random pages this is from an old book about uh, documents how to write uh, documents and I have some regular book pages and also some dictionary pages so I'm just going to start gluing them down and I'm using a glue stick, just a, a regular glue stick for this because I think it's good enough. I can always reinforce them with some matte medium or gel medium later. But now I'm just going to completely cover the surface with glue. Like so. And I'm gonna rip some pieces of this paper and stick it down. And I, oh, I really like this uh, kind of water watermark stamp here. So I'm going to use that one too. I'm going to put it upside down, but that's okay. I'm not thinking too much here, just randomly sticking them down. I'm really sorry about the lights. It's very dark here in Finland at the moment. It's December, so it's it's always dark. Mm, I want some more of this this page. I think I'm gonna put it down here. You can put more glue if you need to. And then something for the corner. And some more glue on the edge of the card. I think that's enough. And now I'm just gonna turn this around and cut uh, along the edges. Cut off all the excess paper. Oh, 
Oh, those corners are round, so they're hard to, to cut out neatly. I really enjoy these advent calendars that you can find on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. I love Christmas and I also love calendars. Yeah. I think I like it. Oh, I want it this way. And now the, the theme this uh, first day was me and Jakob have used a photo of herself. Uh, I don't have many photos of myself and I I'm not comfortable with showing them on my YouTube channel. So I cut this image out from a magazine or a book. I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's a book. And I really like the, the flame. So I'm just gonna carefully rip this out or tear this out so I don't have all that excess uh, paper here in the edge. I don't like clean cut edges on my pictures. Just be careful now. She, don't, she will need her feet later, I think. And you can see here is still a cut edge. I don't like that so I'm gonna tear that off as well. Like that. Hmm. Now I see I have some blue color here. I don't know if you can tell on the video but it's blue I promise. Uh, so perhaps I should put some blue color to the background. I'm gonna look in my paint box. Perhaps this one? Yes, that's, that's a good choice I believe. It's kind of similar to this, this blue here gonna put that aside so I don't put paint on it yeah I, I know this looks horrible but I like to paint with my fingers just randomly painting I try to concentrate on the edges so I don't get everything blue. I don't want everything to be blue, but some of it. And I also have this pencil here, so I think I'm gonna also using my finger just dab it onto the book page. And remember, this does not have to be perfect. This is just uh, practice, a daily practice. And some more over here. I think that's enough. Yep, I like that. And I am out of baby wipes. Oh no. Gonna have to clean my stencil up later on. Now I'm just gonna give this a quick dry. It's acrylic paint so it dries very fast. It's just those bigger bigger blobs of color that I need to to dry. 
that's enough. And now I'm just gonna move my paper a bit so I don't get stuck. Everything sticks down <laughs> into the glue. I'm a very messy crafter, as you can tell. Uh, now I kind of want to... Hmm, let's see what I want to do. I think I'm going to place this one down in the corner. So I want something more going on in the background. Some interest. So I'm thinking... I'll use this background stamp from Tim Holtz, I think. Then I'm gonna use this to create even more patterns and more interest in the background. And I'm just stamping this with my hands, I'm not very uh, careful, I just just place them where I feel like I want to place them. I really like this uh, stamp from Tim Holtz. It's my favorite background stamp set. It has these dots but it also has uh, in the same set uh, letters and uh, What's this called? Harlequin pattern and uh, numbers. That's quite enough. Uh, now I think I'm gonna need some white. Also, I am gonna use gesso for this purpose. I could also use acrylic paint in white, but this was close to hand. And again, just just using my finger. I'm going to remove her again. Now. And you may think that it's uh, stupid to first put some blue color and then put white on top of the blue. But I like the, the contrast and the way it makes the white uh, pop out from the page and the blue goes to the background. This is kind of a grayish blue. It's not like baby blue. I'm gonna try to see, can you see the color? Like I said, it's really dark here and my my lights are broken. <laughs> so I'm just using a small, small light. Uh, I'm gonna try this again. I think I want to use another stamp as well in the background. Let's see what I can find.
I found this one. It's a Kaisercraft uh, background stamp. It's called Perfume. Also one of my favorite. Sometimes I think I use the same ones all the time. Do you do that too? But I guess it's just that you find your favorites and then you enjoy them so much so you use them all the time. You see it's beautiful. I'm just going to place it here in the corner or the edge like so and press it down. Yeah, I like that. It's a, a bit more something happening there. So I'm going to use it also on this side here. I think I'm going to it on on the edge yes yeah, so it goes kind of over over the edge I know it's upside down but it doesn't matter like that yeah I like that so now my my picture is going to go over here and I'm gonna just put some glue down on it. Can you see that? That is a uh, Jose Andersen. He's a Danish author, I think. Now I'm just gluing this down and to make it a little bit more uh, look like it's it belongs to the page I'm just gonna put some gesso in the corner on the edges okay now my finger <laughs> my fingers are both blue and white but Hey, it's Finland, so that's that's appropriate, right? It's Finland's uh, Independence Day tomorrow, so what could be more appropriate than blue and white fingers, right? Now she's sitting there in the darkness. <sighs> Poor girl. Now I would like some some title here or a text of some kind and I'm thinking about stamping it but I don't want to stamp uh, directly to the page because it's all kind of bumpy so I think I'm gonna make a separate piece of paper I'm just gonna rip it a bit because like I said I don't like these straight straight edges then I have this stamp set alphabet and I think I'm gonna use the words light at least light. Let's see what I can come up with. As you can see, it's a bit messy. This stamp set. It's not. Mm, it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Can you 
guess what I'm gonna write. I think this girl is from a, a children's story called The Girl with the Matches or Match Sticks. I don't know the English uh, name for the story. Perhaps you know. That's it. I'm gonna put this down on the page. Light in the dark. Did I spell it correctly? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> Better check that before I glue it down. This paper is a piece of a small note sheet. What's it called? Music sheet? Sheet music? I don't know what you call it in English now that's it I think my page is almost done but just almost because I'm gonna add some black to the edge let's see if this works yeah, that's and now I hope that the acrylic paint is completely dry or I'm gonna ruin my pen. Ah, uh, this doesn't work. I'm gonna use another one. is also not meant to be perfect I don't want it to be perfect I hate perfect <laughs> I hate perfect pages no a page can't be perfect because everyone has a different opinion what looks good to one person looks horrible to another so no such thing as a perfect page but I like to do my art journal pages very quickly and without uh, thinking too much. There it is. Can you see it? And now because this is number one, I'm, I'm gonna do just like Jekotar did in her video. And I'm gonna number each page. So this is number one. There, that's it. I'm just gonna make a, a small hole in the corner. If I can find my punch. Like that. So where's, where is the, ah, oh, there it is. like that and that's my page for today i'll be back soon with part two thank you for watching bye